it's real flawless. Yeah. VVS is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that type shit. Yeah. Man, what so you you're obviously like your music's been going crazy, like streaming, like you're you're streaming your highest, you're doing your most right now, your shows look crazy, you know, you're making a lot more money, your life is flawless. I'm what? not making no money. Cap. This nigga lucky. <laughs> Stop playing with this nigga. <laughs> this nigga lucky streaming like crazy right now. <laughs> Yo, 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 it's your boy Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And man, today I got something extremely special for y'all. Very flawless. <laughs> Very flawless. My boy Lucky, what's up, man? Well, good. Man, always good seeing you. Know that. I appreciate you um, letting me come out here and come do it and watch you work, you know? I've been chasing you down. Uh, you have been. I've been chasing you down. I've been feeling like the coolest nigga in the world because of that. Every 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 time it's been posted in a vlog, someone's like, damn, nigga, give Lucky that fucking interview already, nigga. I'm trying to get some shit out of my chest. Man, how you been feeling, man? Great. That's good, man. That's very good. Last time I seen you was like, I was randomly going to Highlight Room on a Wednesday, and I just, Lucky just jumps out the car and goes to a 7-Eleven, and I'm like, oh, is that Lucky? Oh, I was getting, yeah, I remember that, yeah. <laughs> I was in that TRX. He was getting some sodas. No, I was getting... No. He wasn't. I was meet I was getting somebody. Oh. Okay. Um <laughs> 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 This is my favorite person, man. Um we gotta start this off too because you and Cole Bennett shot a video for double check seven years ago. And it finally just coming out now. I wanna know and I think a lot of people wanna know why it didn't, you know, originally come out. I have no clue. You see how I looked in that video? It was dark times. I have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, when you was uh, holding the money, the money, the money looked struggle. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? That beat was hard as hell, bro. I had the fucking hoodie. That was my grill. That was my most expensive piece of clothing and shit. Look the at Supreme you now. hoodie. Right? Diamond, busting, everything. Oh, yeah, that's cool. That's just a plus. Yeah. It's crazy to see how far you've grown, man. Right. Um, your new single tonight, um, Coincidence, drops. Yes, it's called Coincidence, Not In The Hood. Stop naming my songs for me. Your fans been naming your songs? Yeah, I hate when they do that. What the heck? Have you ever took one of the names? No. 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 I always, I make it a stupid name just so it won't be what they <laughs> name. What they chose. <laughs> yeah. You got the craziest fan base, bro, like in the, like, in the underground, like, even at your shows, just how passionate they are about your music, how much they've changed your life. Like, what does your fans mean to you, Lucky? Uh, they mean a lot, I guess. They mean a lot. I love them, the ones that's really like my real fans. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They mean a lot. Damn, what's been like the craziest like meet and greet experience you've had with one of your fans? Mm. Or the most memorable one, at least. Well, people be crying. Is that like, is that like weird for you and shit? I mean, it's 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 kind of bogus to say it's weird, but I do be like, yeah, bro, I'm just my mama's son. <laughs> like, I feel them though. Yeah, I feel them. That's like you ever you see right now Chris Brown's meet and greets, bro. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That nigga took meet and greets to another level. Another level. That shit's hey man, that shit worth a thousand dollars, man. Make sure y'all go. <laughs> but no, nah, I mean, I feel like your music is just it's it's very keyed in on escape you know like it's it takes you to a whole different world so i i can see why niggas is gonna cry when they first meet you you know what i mean you're someone that you know you're like helping people with their problems yeah right isn't that crazy you're yeah. a therapist that's crazy i'll be like who the therapist. fuck will help me that's crazy though i'll be like how therapist. am i helping y'all like that is crazy that should be tweaking me up you feel like you are like you feel like you are helping them at all or no? I mean, yeah, because I guess people see me crash and burn, just like, don't do that. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so, yeah. I feel that. Um, so, what's it like, you know? Like Cole shot the video. Um, you got shot in London, you had the shows out there, and then you end up shooting the video. What's it like, you know, finally to put something out with your bro, another Chicago legend? <clears throat> it is special because it's like, me and Cole been supposed to do something for a long ass time. Mm -hmm. And it's like a good ass piece of work. Like, 
I'm really I just be proud of Cole in general. So like to see how much like like Cole be helping me like with so many opportunities like a lot of shit. I be really just happy for him. But it just makes sense because the type of person he is. Yeah. That's so burnt. Look at this. What are those? Flume things. Oh. There's two of them in my pocket. Yeah. I thought it was the mic at first. Nah, it's a mic. And you now you said opportunities <laughs> and everything. I remember when Cole had you um, model the Chicago Bulls, Chicago Bears um, lyrical lemonade collab. Right. And, and then the first time, right. So think about this. The first time he I ever modeled something for Cole, he came to my crib and gave me a hundred dollars to take a picture in a lyrical lemonade T-shirt. So like, think about that. Like, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like. I really needed a hundred dollars too at that time. <laughs> so just think about that. That's crazy. Right? And then now it's like y'all are doing stuff with the NFL, like, and that's one of your favorite teams too, which is yeah, right. I actually got the walk on Soldier Field. How you think y'all gonna do this year? Uh, I don't know. Go Bucks. Go Bucks. <laughs> <laughs> that's your NBA team? No, I'm not talking about the Tom Brady now. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I fuck with the Bears, but I just don't got time for that, bro. It's not healthy, bro. It's I know. Like, when I see you go on Twitter back and forth with the NFL player, I'd be like, how do y'all even know Lucky? Yeah, right? Like, how he, how does this even happen? Right. That was crazy. This should be funny as hell. Shout out to 29, bro. It's definitely going to happen a few more times this year. Don't be fooled. Lucky's definitely about to get in there um, with some more. Yeah, the Bears don't like me. They don't like you? No. Every Sunday, you are a menace on Twitter with them, though. Yeah, bro, they a menace to me and my health. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, God. Hey, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I already know. You feel me? Bro, like, yeah. get y'all shit together, yeah. bro. It's, it's embarrassed hard out here. Nigga, I have to tell. Like, I go on a day, I tell a girl, like, hey, wh what's your team? You're like, yeah, I like so-and-so. I go, like, yeah, I'm a Cowboys fan. Not fucking. <laughs> <laughs> She not let me fuck. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm playing. I'm joking. Shout out Stephen A. Smith. Shout out Stephen A. Um, <laughs> Flawless like me, man. You've been teasing it for a very long time now. Yeah, I feel like it came out like it's perfect timing because when it was supposed to come out, I mean, I still was flawless, but like you I had like $2,000. You feel me? Mm -hmm. So now it's like Everything like makes sense. Yeah. You feel me? It's real flawless. Yeah. VVS's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that type of shit. Yeah. Man, what's so you you're obviously like your music's been going crazy, like streaming, like you're you're streaming your highest, you're doing your most right now, your shows look crazy, you know, you're making a lot more money, your life is flawless. I'm not what? making no money. Cap. This nigga lucky. Stop <laughs> playing with this nigga. <laughs> this nigga lucky streaming like crazy right now. What's what's been the most like, you know, fun you've been having with this point of your life? Uh the most fun part about this shit is from like just taking care of your people. I know that sounds cliche, that was, but it's real. That's the funnest part about this shit, like like your people's like just keep asking you for shit but it's like it's like it's like you the chosen one I guess like so it'll get stressful at times but like you feel mm -hmm. me it's back to school time all the kids and the fact like that's the best part like everybody like we're little at like you feel me? my mm -hmm. daddy big L I'm little L. like that's the best part like you feel me yeah just to you know make everybody else's dreams or days come true type shit you feel me yeah for real that's amazing man how's your son doing he the goat he is. I saw him at um, Smokers Cup Fest doing pull-ups. No bet. That little boy going crazy. crazy, man. That's my shorty. Has though. he showed any signs of like music, like talent in him or anything like that? Uh uh. No. You know I don't be getting to all that. But that's my shorty though. Him and my little sister made me feel like I got two kids. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're my babies. That's amazing, man. It's amazing. Um, the album. I've heard it. It sounds amazing. And you know, it's it's very like this crazy full circle moment for you because this future song, it's like Lucky's been tweeting about his love for future for years. Like this is this is the goat, you know what I mean? And you finally got to work with him. I think you guys got cool like last year or something. Yeah, I just met Pluto like like a month or two ago. 
You feel me? The song happened. It's a long story with that song, but you gotta take care of. <laughs> but, <laughs> but nah, I just met Pluto. Like, it's just crazy seeing this nigga in person. Like, damn, folks, really that, bro? Like, it's really that nigga. Like, and I was on that Baby Pluto shit, mm-hmm. and then me and Uzi just in the studio together. Uzi Baby Pluto, I'm Neptune. Like, you feel yeah. me? Like Uzi Baby Pluto. Mm-hmm. Like, I, from I gotta just admit that. <laughs> but like, <laughs> for real, like. That has been crazy, though. Like, that's crazy right there. What was that session like, just, you know, rapping there with, you know, someone you looked up to like that? Did you get nervous or anything like Hell that? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. But well, I'm a pedo, so, like, they ain't gonna fuck with it regardless, because mm-hmm. I ain't gonna over, like, you feel me? Yeah, I think like, anything. Nigga just, I'm pretty sure a nigga see himself in me. We got the same interests, you know? Mm-hmm. 100%. Yeah, no, that shit was crazy. And then even you, like, you and Babyface Ray, that song with you guys going back and forth there, that was... Oh, yeah, that's my brother, bro. Me and Face got a lot of shit. You were on his deluxe, too. Yeah, that's that's really, like... That's, he really a big part of, like, why, like, I started, like, taking music more serious, serious, like... Like, it's the fact, like... At the fact, like, Rolling Louds and shit, I used mm-hmm. to get the Rolling Loud with the... Uh, the girls, where the parties, all that shit. Now I just be fuck it. Where the studio at? Like Face got me like that. Like yeah. he a big reason. Like, like all that shit gone. All the fun in my life revolve around rapping. Oh, so you cut out all the dist- all the extra as much I distractions mean, as you can. And it's like this, uh, the shit we do. Our profession is the distraction itself. So like all the shit gonna come with it. Like yeah. you feel me? Like all the other shit, like following out, chasing all the other shit. Like we gotta stay on top of this. You feel How me? hard was it like that? Cause that's not an easy thing to like. It was hard when I didn't have an example, somebody I look up uh, to, yeah. in my face doing it, but seeing face, like, and everybody know I found Babyface Ray and V's before everybody. So I'm gonna go and attest to that, cause that's what I was gonna get to. Yeah. This is no cap. You was posting. Um, my thoughts too on your story. Yeah, you brought him to the narco. Rolling my house. big brother, my big brother, pop. He did. He real life. We was in L.A. He played. It's not my thoughts. Yeah, it is my thoughts. No bad. When he was in the G wagon mm-hmm. with that puffy coat on. Oh, what the fuck? He really rapping my life type shit. And then, like, we just started getting locked in. You know, his nephew, Day Money, he signed the Empire too. Mm-hmm. He got cool with my big brother, so he coming to the rack and shit. Like, we just take care of, like, it's like, we go out there, my little brother go out there, they take care of my little brother, like, that shit, like, like, real, like, mafia shit, but, like, not, like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, none to get indicted over, but, like, we, like, a real mafia family, like, you know? Shit. I just say mafia because the principles we stand on. I love that. And, no, nah, and, like, nigga, you really did put mad niggas on, because I remember even you bringing Babyface Ray and them over to the narco house, and at the time, I had caught him off your story. And I was mad as hell because I went to the house in the morning and niggas like, oh, Babyface Raynan was just over here. I'm like, bro, this is all I've been listening to, nigga. Bro, I I'm really nigga. happy it happened like that, bro. Like, like I put him on the people. And then, like, I'm really happy it happened like that. Like, a lot of people would be haters. Like, what the fuck? Like, I put y'all on this nigga and he started catching fire before me. But I'm really happy to happen because, like, that's the nigga I look up to, so I was like, oh, all right, I see what I gotta do. I see, what, like, it helped me a lot. Like, you feel me? Yeah, like, I, I think it was a very good trade off. Like, you know what I mean? Like, a genuine why. one at that. You know what I mean? Like, nigga, this is love. I love your music. I'm gonna share it to the world. And I'm, then you see him in person, you see how he is with his people, nigga, the truth. Like, no bad. Very, very humble dude and very, very cool. Like, as hell. I know it's not cliche. I really don't be calling rappers my big brother, but him, GT. They're my big brothers, you feel me? V's older than me by like a year. But yeah, that's my smart, dumb big brother. Mm-hmm. Like, I love them niggas. And then, you know, you were on the song Back in Action and everything um, on the Deluxe. And, you know, he, he, I really feel like he'd be really like putting on for his people because like, I feel like you, you get this line, cause he's like, to me, like Babyface Ray, the biggest out in Detroit right now, to me, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like what he just, that album was Come amazing. Come to you, just in general, that's what it is. Yeah. We making the Midwest cool again. Me, Ray, 
They everybody in the D. Doughboy out of Cleveland. Shout out Doughboy for sure. We making the Midwest cool again. How many songs do you think you and Ray got? Like seven. But we always get up and just make more music. Like mm. I got a lot of music with all of their ass. Like, like I got music with a lot of their ass. Yeah. For real. And you know, so far like this year, you you know, you dropped like six different singles. Why not? Meet me there. New drink is my favorite. That and Super Eurus is like they yeah, kinda... New Drink is my favorite song I ever made. Really? Yeah. Why is that? Just because what I was saying, like, it's like, it's like, what's that shit called? Compost drink. Nah, yeah. just in general, it's like, what's that, it's like manifestation, I guess. Okay. Yeah, it's my favorite song ever. You felt like you, you're you living right now, what you were talking about in that song? Yeah, I was living that shit then. But it's like, I be rapping shit. I just be rapping it. I could try to lie. That shit come true two weeks later. <laughs> well, that goes back to you and, you know, your belief in, like, your music being connected to the art gods. Yeah. That shit's crazy because I've never heard like no other rapper ever talk about that. Like, you're like really like no, this is coming from somewhere else. This is Pharrell was talking about it. Like I saw this one clip when Pharrell said, uh, he's like, if you ever get any like type of idea, you should mm -hmm. like you like like say like a beat on, and you get like a flow in your head, and you should like you shouldn't ever pass on that because it's not from you. Like it's from a it's a gift somebody gave you. Like so you should like. Like, it's, get your, on it. it's your duty to exercise that to the world. Yeah, literally. That's crazy, man. And I would love to hear you and Pharrell on a beat. Yeah, that'd be hard. That would be hard. I think it's gonna come because, bro, like, like I said, bro, like, your shit's Damn, that been, nigga is gonna happen. Your shit's been going off, bro. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm on YouTube, obviously, you know, my YouTube's just fucking lucky, lucky shit. And, you know, my interviews and all type of other shit. But it's like seeing the views jump. Like, back in the day, you used to take, like, I don't know. Couple Bro, I used to hate get. dropping on YouTube strictly because you could drop on SoundCloud 500,000 in a week. You drop on YouTube 10,000 in a fucking week. I used to hate that shit. It used to have me insecure. So it's really crazy to see videos get a million plays in a fucking week. Bro. I'm, like, that shit crazy. Bro. I'm on my TV clicking. I'm like, am in a lucky going crazy. Yeah, right. Like, what the fuck? What do you. And, and now. Too, because I feel like I've seen your shows before then, and then now it's translating. Like you can feel that it feels different to me now. Does it feel different to you too? What do you mean? Just like like the energy, the moment, like that. Like it's all lining up. Yeah. Yeah, I got crazy guardian angels. And like, yeah. Shit's crazy, man. Um, Tour-wise, you went on tour with you, Can Can. Can didn't come. Can Can didn't I'm come. I'm actually happy he didn't come, though. Because, like, I don't know, like, that's my little brother, but I'm actually happy he didn't come because, like, he's not a lucky opener. You know what I'm saying? He Can mm -hmm. Can. So I'm actually happy that happened. That's good. And then, ultimately, you guys still have this great relationship you're building right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's my shorty, for real. What was that I tour? Like? my little brother. What was that, that was tour? a crazy tour. Was that what you say like one of your best tours? Hell yeah, it was my biggest tour. Like that shit is crazy. Like that shit crazy. Like all right, it, you get to like a small city, mm -hmm. you performing in like a six hundred people venue, and you're like, what the fuck? Like you complaining over the venue size and shit. Mm -hmm. And I remember back then, like when you had like a five hundred capacity venue, I used to love it because even if it's only three hundred people there, it's still gonna look packed. Yeah. So it's like you get. Like you get spoiled, like like you like nigga. I'm used to fifteen hundred, twelve hundred, like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like two thousand in New York, like I can't do this shit. Like that shit, that's a blessing though. Like it's cool. all those fucking lights, yeah. Just you by that shit is crazy, man. It's so crazy to see. And like, they be thinking, I be seeing them TikToks too. They be thinking I just be, bro. The people be turnt in the crowd. All right. If you really like at the show and you in the crowd, mm -hmm. it's not. I, I, people be like, he just standing there. Like, first off, I'm not jumping around for nobody. <laughs> like, and it's like, it's like, they be, I be really like interacting with people. It's like, really like, I be actually rapping my lyrics too. Mm -hmm. So like, people be, that's why they be turned because they be seeing me. Like, if you in front of me, my well, performing is way different. Like, you yeah. feel me? Like, and then, then even those little memes of your uh, motions <laughs> of you performing, what did you think about that when you seen all that? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta act like I fuck with it, but you don't. It annoy me. Oh, yeah. 
I, th- I mean, it was it was it was a chuckle there, but you're still artist, so it's just like, yo, nigga. Yeah, this like shit, I perform. fucking funny. Like. Yeah, it's not funny. This is ah! how I perform. Yeah, but um, yeah, no, I, it's been dope, man. To see, I can't wait to see what happens now after this project, you performing wise, because like you said, I caught you at Rolling Loud uh, in Miami. Um, I was walking to there. That's one of the only times I left that day. I was like, I gotta go catch Lucky Set. I gotta go catch Lucky Set, and that shit was fucking packed. Yeah, that was crazy. 7 like, p.m. And your the time slot's higher now. Yeah. You're lucky you're living flawless right now. <laughs> <laughs> My boy living flawless, man. That's hard. So, you know, for this project, obviously, you know, you got your producers here. You got Brett. You got some new guys. Um, yeah, Guntex, Flanzy, Samson. Uh, Bristol, not a part of Guntex, but they all, like, at the same age. And they really, like... It's crazy, like, the, these white kids making these beats with all this fucking soul in it, like, crazy. these young ass kids. I was just sitting in the studio every time a song was being played, I'm going around the room. Who made this? Which one of y'all niggas made it's, this? It's a little white boy with long hair, hair. and shit, yeah. Like, you made this? Yeah, right. These snare, tr- snare rolls, <laughs> snare traps, nigga? Yeah, with the 808 stacked on it like that? Okay. That's hard. I hear you, bro. And these melodies, you know, too, though, which is super dope. And how, how did you find them? Because you are so, the world know, Lucky's the pickiest when it comes to beat. How did you find them and what what about them? Through uh, like producers I work with, I used to hate collabs. Mm-hmm. But I found them through like collabs, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the producers I already work with, like, I'm, I know you didn't do this, like, so I find a collab, like, mm. feel me? Yeah. For that. Um, I feel like on this project too, like, Thing that really stood out to me was um, musically was a lot of the melodies. It was just always like I feel like all your projects like they all sound like a different version. Like yeah, my little brother told me that it's it's like this different. It's like it's kind of like it's all cohesive. It does feel all cohesive, but it's just it's just different. I don't know how to explain it. It's just like it's like you're still getting these arpeggiated or like these bells. I have but no it clue just, what that word means. Huh? I have no clue what that like word Like arpeggiated means. sound is just something that keeps on going. Oh. Like you see how the melodies will be like repetitive and like, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, something like that. But it's like, it, it, it grows on that. What is Lucky like looking for in beats? Because I'm, there's so many people that want you to rap on their beats, but it's just like, yo, I can already bet you, like, I already know, like, you don't really, you, you know, you're very picky. I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it, what I'll be looking for, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because on the next project, I'm pretty sure I'm not even going to be on this type of shit. Like, you feel me? That's why I like my producers to grow with me. Yeah, and that's what some of me and Brett Rambo was talking about. Like, he said you've given him the opportunity to grow, which was super dope. Like, Nah, yeah. Brent is crazy. Like, this from... I remember when Brent first, like, when he first came on the scene, like, I, I never even imagined myself rapping on his beats. Like, what he turned himself into is crazy, but we is from the same city, so, like, like the type of music he grew up on, probably the same type of music I grew up on. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, he got some soul in him. Yeah, Brent crazy. Yeah, his melodies are insane. I mean, it's, it's just, like, even wide body, like. Yeah. <laughs> That beat is fucking nuts, man. What did you think when you first see, heard that shit? When I was making that shit, I was at home. I was fucked up. Like, I was just fucked up. Just going to the studio every day. Mm-hmm. In the hood, studio. Studio to hood, studio. Damn near living in the studio. Like, it was in a crazy time. Like... So we was just really like locked in every day. Like people that's not even here no more. Like Brent was there with them. Yeah. Like we just making that shit happen. That's why it'd be like a special connection to the. I know my brothers and being like, damn, he raw as hell. Like you feel me? Like, cause they ain't know who he was. They like, damn, this nigga making that shit. You feel me? Like he dressed mm-hmm. weird as hell. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, like. To me, it's not weird, but like. <laughs> Like to you know people back home Street and shit. Nigga, yeah. yeah, like they be like, hey, this Bro, shit you, weird. So they be like, that he made that shit? That should be crazy. He's yeah. like, you straight with us, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's some, all right, all right. We fuck with you. <laughs> oh man. So obviously earlier you said like 
you know, one of the things that changed for you was cutting out distractions and everything. What changed with working on this project, Flawless Like Me, to, you know, really get your vision out? I be living that shit and rapping it, for real. I know that sound like probably cliche again, but I really be living that shit and rapping it. Like, I'm pretty sure if I didn't go out, like, I don't know, I gotta like, like live the shit, like, mm. like simple as that. Well, I, has there been like any like dry spots in like your career where you, not even dry, but like, um, like a block what was the longest like you went without recording? Because obviously said you gotta live, you know what I mean, to create type shit. I used to do that. I don't be taking no breaks no more though. Cause you can get, cause I write and you would get out of your writing cycle. So I always just stay in the writing cycle now. You know what I'm saying? But like uh, a block would come when I'm not living nothing and I'm just trying to rap. Cause I got nothing to rap about. Mm. Okay, I see. Like, it's like some music I'll be talking about like buying girls stuff too much because I'll be doing that shit. Some <laughs> songs I'll be talking about like being in the hood, high speeds or certain things because I'll be around that shit. Mm -hmm. uh, nah, but like, you know what I'm saying? Like it'll be what I see. Like remember when they be talking about Nas? I remember when I was young, they was talking about Nas Illmatic. They was like, Nas is like a nigga like in the projects looking out his window, just rapping everything he see. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like Kendrick Lamar, too. Yeah. He's rapping I mean? from the perspective of the boy from the porch. Yeah. You know what I mean? Which, and he did that to heights, which is insane. Um, so what would you say, like, now with this project, obviously it was a lot of flawless things. Like, what do you think the material-wise, you know, is, is from this? Because uh... you've obviously been going a lot, through a lot, too you know, in your life. I feel like it's like every, maybe every other week, not well, every other week. that shit, I be feeling like my brothers, cause they ass like rapping too. Mm -hmm. I be, sometimes I don't even be feeling like rapping. Then I, I remember when I, I'm like, damn, this be Boogie and Papa writing for me. I know that sounds crazy, but sometimes I be really just like, yeah. Yeah, because you, you lost a lot of people. I feel like I, it's like constantly, like, you see you post, like, damn, RIP this or this and that. And it's crazy, too, that that what's-the-name documentary you did on Fader. And I saw you repost that a couple of nights ago. It was like, damn, few y'all not even with me no more. Like, yeah. It's crazy. I never expected that to happen to me. Even though we from where we from. Mm -hmm. But like, we the Get Money Boys. Y'all was on some whole different shit. But that's how it is, though. We from Gotham City. So it'd be like that. How you been, like, you know, dealing with or just even coping with these, you know, tragic things that have been having, happening? I just be standing on everything they don't they want to be stood on. Like, like my man's, <laughs> you ask for them, like, like folks' mama be like, did you talk to LC? Tell him to stop sending me money. Like, <laughs> for real. Like, yeah. I know that's not everything because she lost her son, but it's like, I know how much he cared about his, like, Damn. stuff she wanted to be on. Like, yeah. like, every time I see my kids, I think about Boogie because I know how much Boogie wants. Like, he ain't had no kids, but, like, he used to love the kids. Like, I'd be on the block and some shit. Here, boy, my baby mama would probably live around the corner. Boy, go get your son. Boy, you getting high, you ain't doing it. Bro, go get your son, boy. Like, he, he had me on that. Like, mm -hmm. man, just bring it with us then. Like, you feel me? Like, that's what my son liked that with his uncles now in the first place. Like, the love and support system. Yeah, because my baby mama went to school with my peoples. That's okay. how I met her through them. You feel me? So they already knew her. So that would make it a little easier, you know? Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Um, Damn, life is like, it's so fucking short. I've been getting older and shit. Like, I just had a birthday, I'm turning 27, and I'm like, in my head, like, like I don't know if I'm having a fucking- Yeah, I'm really 26 now, that's crazy. Like, it's like, bro, this shit just happened. Everything's just so fast now. It's like, it's like, fuck, like, what the fuck is going on? Like, 
the blinking eye, just everything's just, it's just like, fuck, bro. Like, nigga, I'm 27. Like, the pandemic happened was two years. Nigga was in the house. Next year, I'm gonna be 28. Like, I'm a Jamaican. Yeah, it's no like fuck. a gift and a, a blessing and a curse. Mm. Like, because when my, when, when, when Papa died, we was in Dallas. I was at the House of Blues. The show was like almost sold out. I get off the stage. A nigga calling me like a nigga from my way, but we don't really rock. He calling me. I'm like, why the fuck this nigga calling me? Like, so my brothers was with me. They look at me. They like, like you should pick up. I'm like, huh? But I got to do this mean greets. Like forty mean greets. Mm -hmm. I was looking at one of them pictures. None of the kids knew. You could just see it in my face though. I got off the stage to that, and then when uh when my other brother died, I was I I was I had spent sixteen thousand on my mama and mm -hmm. my stepdaddy on Rodell. They just I'm taking them to Maxfield and show them stories. They just grabbing shit. They don't even know what the shit is, like. But I'm like they having so much fun. That's Come right. on, I'm it's like a real feeling it. for you. Look, I'm like. Come on, sixteen thousand. Like fuck it, they had so much fun. Fuck it, all right, mm -hmm. we get it. Now I'm on the way to the festival, and they uh, somebody told me my brother had got killed. So I'd be like, damn, bro, like, like it, every time I be getting on the stage or like I have a big moment, I always be thinking something gonna happen. Now. Why? Cause it's it's happened like so so many times. Like after you're on a stage in a big moment, something crazy happens. Yeah, like even that shit in LA. Like the day after Rolling Loud, that shit happened with uh, Doe Burger. Oh man, yeah, R.I.P. Doe, man. Yeah, that shit was weird. R.I.P. Doe. That was that was Doe was a real nigga, bro. I met Doe like a few times because I, you know, I know Slim, Slim the homie. So, you know, I had met him a few times just when we were, we had to go stop by and doze and whatever and shit, but it's just like, that was a real nigga for sure, man. Definitely an easy, cool, calm dude, like effortlessly. Yeah, and obviously he growing up here, lot. I have soul rap about this nigga all the time. It was fucking insane. Remember when the nigga gave me the chain? The um, TD chain? Yeah. <laughs> um, I am so said my name on his album and shit. I woke up to that shit like, what the fuck? He like finesse this flow from Lucky X. Like everybody was tripping about that shit. Like it's yeah. crazy. Yeah, it's it's crazy because like even now it's like this is what gonna be your twelfth project or thirteenth. Twelfth project, right? Yeah, I think. Man, how does it feel on this? There's not a lot of niggas with twelve projects out here. Right. It's just a blessing though. What do you want? What do you want to accomplish with this project? Because everything, you know, musically for you right now is, is going up. Like, do you have set out goals? I, just, I know that I just want to keep being able to take care of my people. And just do what the fuck I want. Yeah. What about how do you feel about like the underground, you know, king type? Like, do you want to break out of that? Yeah, I'm 26 now. It's a whole new wave of like underground kids. Yeah, you're an OG to these little niggas now. Yeah, <laughs> like you, you big bro. That like I'm, I'm Uncle King. Uh, they been calling me Uncle King now. I'm like, damn, nigga. The yeah. Fuck? <laughs> we, it, it's like that. A lot of us don't come from the same background though, mm -hmm. so I don't be like, I don't relate to all of. That's why I am the way I am with Can Can and shit like that, cause I see myself in that. I don't be seeing myself in a lot of these kids. Yeah. You feel me? But the ones I do, like Day Money, what you call it, that's the ones I embrace. Yeah. The and whole you, world tour, Double R, that's what I embrace. Cause I don't want to be like the whole ass niggas that was like when I was 20 and they was 26, it. 25. Like, what you rich as hell and hating for it? Like, I don't look But don't niggas wasn't rich like I thought, though. So that <laughs> makes sense. I just didn't want to be like that. But them niggas not from the same background as me, so. Yeah. You feel me? That's why we not the same either. So I was expecting, like, just because I looked up to a nigga, like, that nigga not even from the same background as me, so why would I? 
You feel me? That's yeah. the shit I had to learn. But that shit comes age, bro. Again, yeah, that's the good thing about age is perspective, man. That's the you best know? thing about best it. Best thing, you know? You get to just see certain shit and it's like, oh, that, I ain't tripping on shit like that no more, bro. That don't even matter. Yeah. One another cool moment and always is a cool moment for you is when you perform as, you know, Summer Smash. This last time you posted that, it was like, you know, like, it was like a homecoming. Cause this is like, everything's up. Like everything's just going up. This, the set was crazy. Like what it, you know, cause you've been performed at Summer Smash before many times, but what, you know, made this one feel like a homecoming and just feels different. Cause when you see them kids, like they really be looking like they really know all the old lucky stories. They know how I'm coming, they know where I come from. Mm -hmm. Like, so they really, like, you see them climbing on the tents and shit, like, they be like, this nigga really one of us, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't even know my auntie live around the corner, corner from yeah. that. Like, no bad, like, that should be special, for real. Crazy, man. Yeah, man, that was, it's, it's always dope seeing this shit, man. Like, every single time I see you, it's just like, shit just be going up more and more, man. Mm -hmm. um, you feel like you haven't, like, you know, you've been in this, Damn near like 10, 10 plus years now. You know, you feel like you're still having the same fun as you you know, were in the beginning? I'm having more fun ever with this shit. Hell yeah. You know, a lot, oftentimes our artists are like always like, yo, I miss those early days or this and that, da da da. Hell no. I don't miss nothing about that shit. <laughs> the niggas are struggling for real. <laughs> I don't miss nothing about that shit. Oh man. Um, you ever think about legacy and everything and like what you want to leave behind? Yes. I just be living that shit though. I just make sure I don't let my people down. The people that's looking up to me. Mm -hmm. like, like, I got a whole neighborhood behind me. I got a whole bloodline behind me. Mm -hmm. So like the fans, that's an extra, but I be trying to make sure the people I really like care about, I don't embarrass them. Yeah. You feel me? One of the lines that I did hear, which was super dope, and I don't know if I'm gonna say it right, but it was like, when well, you mentioned Juice too, he was just like, um, he was looking at me before I knew it. Oh yeah, yeah, facts. What was that, what was the line? I just made that song yesterday, so I really don't remember. I said, I miss Juice. He was so, when I was still kind of doubting me, something like that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. when you were kind of doubting me. He yeah, that shit is crazy. Like, I used to be in the room for the people, like, me and G-Money was just talking about that shit. Like, G, like Juice would be like, this is the best rapper ever. Everybody in the room be like, and what? Like, they like, who the fuck is this? You feel me? And he meant that shit. Like, yeah, he really meant it. You feel me? Like, so like, it'd be crazy. People would be crazy. Like, see what I turned into off that shit. Like, that shit crazy. I really be wishing he was still here. Cause I know it'll never be a dull moment in this shit if he was still here. Like, yeah, I really be missing him. Bro, he's a legend, man. Such a carefree person, bro. Just. Just the art, man. It was it, it was insane just seeing this nigga work, bro. Insane. Now we got backpack lucky. This is the the new era. <laughs> <laughs> what was the backpack that set this era off? Uh, the Lambin backpack. I bought it out here actually in San Francisco. And it got stolen. No, nah, I didn't get stolen. I misplaced it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you was going to be dead on a story that day. That nigga like said, whoever stole my fucking leather backpack. I said some crazy shit, dude. <laughs> some crazy shit. <laughs> but it's crazy that you ain't even follow up with it. Like, yo, actually, I just misplaced my so fucking backpack. some crazy shit. Like, you I wish some crazy shit on somebody. So I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is this the one you got at right after? Nah, hell no. I got hella book bags. So all my book bags cost... The cheapest book bag I have costs eleven hundred dollars. Damn ha! nigga. <laughs> Damn nigga. What do you think the backpack symbolizes for you? I be having a lot of stuff. It make like the type of person I am. It make it. I want to say. I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> say it. <laughs> nah. it. It's really easy to live the life I live, but nah, yeah. It's easy to store your things. Yeah. Your party treats. Yes. That bag is worth. Yeah, it's a nice bag. <laughs> this is a nice bag. Oh, man. Um, we usually do this to close it out and everything. What's your message for our generation? 
uh, Hakeem is the GOAT at journalism for our generation. Damn, and it, it, shit, it's called our generation, but I really meant like our generation, though. It's crazy to see somebody like my age. He's 27, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but then you got three years left to you, 30. Three years. Bro, I've been, I told you, bro, life is like, I've been in the house, like, waking up middle of the night, like, oh, shit. Bro. Yeah, it's like coming. 30, bro. Like. But, like, not, it's like, think about the niggas when we was young and they was about to turn 30. Think how fucking disgusting and, like, how they used to be. Like, at least I'm not one of them. You yeah. Know I, mean? I mean, I am doing, you know, pretty good for myself, but Pushing it's Pushing like, 30, but I'm rich. Pushing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I got bro. four more years left. Being twenty in the twenties, my boy, I appreciate you so much. Thank you, my boy. Thank Always. you.